Good morning from the farm, fellow food plotters. We are out in the farm this morning. We are going to start knocking down some of these sunflowers with spray. got uh, three acres of soybeans was planted everywhere here with some broadcasted uh, sunflowers and now that they foraged off the soybeans and totally defoilaged the sunflowers as you can see there is not a leaf on them just a head the weeds started to take over so getting ready and prepping for food plots here in two weeks we're going to come in and uh, get this dirt worked up going to spray all the weeds and sunflowers dead two weeks we got a tractor rental coming with a rototiller but wanted to show you something with our Egyptian wheat screens this stuff really did well this year look at how high it is now I'm not that tall of a fella but this stuff is already well about eight feet some places nine feet and it's uh, got a good month month and a half to keep on growing but uh, check out some of the sunflowers here but anyhow we're gonna go over and pump some water out of a creek so this is a setup this morning we've got a water hole in a creek and uh, we've got a hose to a pump let me zoom in here. Got a pump sticking out of the back of the sprayer. That he's pumping it right into the tank. And then we'll add the chemicals. And we will get the spray in here. And we're gonna get a dosage of 41% uh, gly. And a dosage of 2,4-D and come back in two weeks and work this dirt and get ready for the fall plot. While Dave's out spraying the fields, I come over to give a little update on the apple trees. And the apple trees are doing really well this year. They started off slow, but they really took off. They got a lot of loaded up trees here. Some of them are ripening up there red as you can see. There's a different variety on that one over there. Apple trees are so amazing to me. I mean, look at this old dilapidated thing. Still producing. Got some decent little crab apples on it. Down here, it's all busted off, broken dead bottom limbs but what I wanted to show you guys looks okay from this angle right there ain't nothing there flipping things ready to fall over totally hollowed out all it is is a shell all it is is a shell of a thing still producing that is nuts. But, look at this. There's even nails in it. <laughs> look at that, there's nails. At one time, I didn't notice that before. At one time, this was probably a fence row. The trees were probably fenced off. Crazy things you find in the woods. So what I wanted to explain about this side was this is the plot expansion that we did 
like from this tree out to where Dave is out there and past him's that apple tree there that whole block from where he's at now to the tree line was all pine trees if you follow along you would know that uh, we had another video in the spring where we rented a skid steer and knocked down all this junk and we actually pushed it all up in here oh I'm zoomed in we we pushed it all up in here but anyhow well, the problem with that is, is all we did is disc we disc all this up one time and of course when you disc something up one time like that you're bringing all that weed seed right to the top and it's going to germinate so we've got all this grass and nettles and things that are have grown in here so we'll get it sprayed down dead here and then uh, get ready for the fall plot but yeah, I uh, would strongly encourage that if you take something that's been virgin for quite a long time and you turn the dirt, you're going to have to come back and probably spray it dead, whatever comes up green. And uh, every time you till, you're going to be bringing up that new weed seed, so be aware.